Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's check what is happening in MMORPG gaming world. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of MMORPG videos in the future. This evening I'll start with Throne and Liberty. We are going to check what is happening regarding Korean version of the game and also regarding global release. As you can see, I'm already here on official website of Throne and Liberty in Korea and I can show you here that in the previous week we have got actually really big update over there in Korea. Yes, I'm playing Throne and Liberty over there on Korean servers. You can check my live streams on Twitch every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. You can check also lots of guides on my YouTube channel if you are interested in Throne and Liberty. But now let's focus on this big new update. Regarding what did we get actually with this big new update, we have get this here. Queen Blandy, first arc boss in the game. Different kind of improvements also regarding different kind of in-game features. And I can show you here, actually when I scroll a little bit down, many, many different kind of changes and adjustments to the game. They have fixed many kind of bugs and of course developers of the game, NCSoft, they are still fighting against bots. Currently bots are the biggest problem of Throne and Liberty over there in Korea. Game itself feels very enjoyable to play. Honestly here, game is amazing. Bots are currently the only big problem. Regarding pay to win, don't worry about that, I got you covered, I'm preparing special video on my YouTube channel for tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Tomorrow or day after tomorrow you will see on my YouTube channel special video dedicated only to pay to win in Throne and Liberty to explain that because many people are asking about that. However, don't worry about that. They just need to handle bots in the game. There are many bots or they're appearing. I have noticed that recently every day uh, more and more bots. They need to handle that urgently. Other than that, game is absolutely amazing. Check some gameplay videos and review of this game. I have done actually a review of this game about two days ago on my YouTube channel. Check that full review of Throne and Liberty on my YouTube channel. Game is really amazing. So beside this big new update, we didn't get any kind of new in-game special, new in-game feature or new weapon. We have get uh, access to one island, new island over there in the game. Now we are all waiting for this. On January 9, we are getting second TL live broadcast from developers of this game. During this live stream on January 9, they will have full focus on new update, which will happen during February. We will get many interesting information. What are we getting during February? We already know that on February 3rd, we should get first big siege, massive siege in Throne and Liberty. Thousands of players in one siege. That will be an amazing experience. I will try to play it, of course, I will participate in that siege and I hope that you will see video here on my YouTube channel regarding gameplay of that siege. Now, regarding January 9, I will follow this live stream. Just maybe, maybe we could hear some good news regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. I can show you here, sadly, from Amazon Games, publisher of this game for global version of the game, in the previous week, still nothing new. Seriously, I don't understand why they don't give us any kind of new information. I can fully understand, absolutely, that they don't have maybe any kind of release date for the game, right? Maybe they don't have even a release frame for the next testing phase. I can understand that, but transparency is important. They should give us some kind of update to what is happening with global version of the game. I can show you here. Look, this is official Twitter account for global version of Throne and Liberty. You can see here, my headphones, so it's fine. You can see here, last previous uh, tweet from October 18. Come on, October 18. We are now two and a half months since last previous information from Amazon Games. What are they doing here on official website of Amazon Games? You can see here, Lost Ark post, New World post. Okay, I do understand that. They are publisher of Lost Ark. Also, New World is their own game. But come on, we are now in 2024, Lost Ark and New World. Both of these games are old games. We are streaming forward, we are looking forward into direction of new games, into direction of Throne and Liberty, and for many people, in direction of Blue Protocol, another new game which they will publish, right? Let's look into that direction. No, they are tweeting about Lost Ark and New World. I mean, I don't want to say nobody cares, because there are still many people playing Lost Ark and some people, only 25k people, currently 20, uh, 25,000 players 
is a 24 hour peak regarding new world there are some people playing still new world however just to let you know there is no any kind of new information from amazon games still nothing so we can only hope that during this uh, live stream right on january 9 maybe nc soft will say something regarding what is happening with global release of throne liberty because yes they are developers of the game and regarding news uh, let's hope that they will come soon either from nc soft either from amazon games let's go forward with the queenfall new upcoming pc mmorpg developed and published by the wavrek technology inc i'm here on official website of the queenfall and i can show you here on official steam website of the queenfall we have seen for the last few months release date it was written january 30 2024 everybody was thinking yes release date already knew about two months ago that this will not be actually release date because developers of the game the Wavrek technology inc or their unofficial discord server they can write something weak something not clearly right what will happen actually on january 3rd and now finally in the previous week look at this release date it's not anymore written january 30 2024 it's written coming soon and we have get this information here that closed beta will happen actually a start of closed beta on january 30 2024 i mean seriously i don't understand i can't understand how to make that kind of mistake there is a big difference between release date and between release date for closed beta huge difference right and for the last few months it was written here very clearly a release date for the game january 30 2024 yes over there on official discord server of the queenfall it was written explanation not entirely clear what will happen on january 30 so that's why i had my suspicions right what will actually happen on january 30 will it be release date or closed beta on the end it's a closed beta but I don't think this is really a small mistake to do. Maybe it was some kind of marketing trick, right? That people think that this game will be released so soon. However, you can see here, now we know finally, officially, it's a closed beta happening on January 30, 2024. Not full release of the game. But again, I have to say, to make this kind of mistake, it's not a small deal. At least, uh, at least in my opinion, right? Because I don't think this should happen, right? Okay, now coming soon, but close beta january 30 everybody there are many content creators out there many articles many websites have given the news that we are getting big new pc mmorpg released on steam on january 30 2024 everybody was waiting for january 30 2024 right and now three weeks before that we are getting this Oh no, sorry, it's not full release of the game, it's only close bet. In the future, if I will have time, I will try to play the Queenfall, because obviously a release date will not happen so soon. Closed beta is starting on January 30, probably also NDA will be up, so... Currently, I'm also playing Throne Liberty over there on Korean servers, so I highly doubt I'll have time to play the Queenfall. However, if I manage to find time later during 2024, I will let you know about the Queenfall. How does it feel regarding gameplay and everything? I already made a few videos on my YouTube channel regarding the Queenfall. It was honestly looking very promising. Just out of these tags, I have talked about that actually in the previous week MMORPG gaming news video. Naval combat, uh, life skills, uh, looking pretty decent. Looking pretty interesting nevertheless to do mistake like this it's already big disappointment to make the, uh, to make a mistake like this regarding release date right this is really not good for future of the game how will game actually be after release that remains to be seen i will let you know when i see something interesting is happening regarding the queenfall here on my youtube channel let's go forward with ion classic regarding ion classic european version of the game there is nothing much to say currently update 2.5 is up we are waiting for update 2.7 which will happen during march or april we have get that information within a roadmap which we have get recently about one week ago a little bit too late i would say for update 2.7 i was expecting that we will see update 2.7 latest in february however okay march or april 2024 however interesting things are happening over there on korean servers of ion classic i can show you here this classic developer node with information that change of the class will be uh, will be possible this is something actually really interesting i can show you here what does that actually means iron classic change class system prepared to provide the opportunity to change to a different class and play while maintaining some customization such as straightening equipment 
So that means actually enchantment level of your equipment. This is interesting. So you'll be able to change class in endgame and keep some customization and enchantment level of your gear. What that actually means, that remains to be seen. But it's interesting. Is this good for the game or not? Mm, what to say, right? So basically, you will not need to level up a few characters if you don't want to. You can still, right? There, there are benefits to have alts in, uh, in Iron Classic. Absolutely, there are benefits from that system because you have account warehouse. Some items are tradable and stuff like that. Nevertheless, this system here is something entirely new in World of Iron. We have never seen that available in Endgame, right? That you are actually able to change your class and also to keep obviously level of your character, customization, what they mean by that, that remains to be seen. Maybe some skins, whatever, right? And also you're able to keep enchantment level of your gear, which gear parts, a full gear or something, that remains to be seen. So interesting things are happening over there in Korea until March or April uh, here in Europe regarding European version of the game. That is nothing much to say. They have had, Gameforge have had mana stones uh, for real money in the cash shop. I don't want to comment on that. Out of respect uh, to this game, which I'm playing for a really, really long time, for the last uh, 11 years, I have... Uh, yes, I did quit in a few occasions, but mostly I did play Ion in different regions from Korea, North America and Europe. And out of respect to this game, which I really like a lot, I will not comment on that. Mana stones in a cash shop for real money? Seriously? No comment. No comment on that, right? So when I see something interesting is happening regarding Ion Classic European version of the game or over there in Korea, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. For this evening, just to let you know, regarding Ion Classic European version of the game, well, until April or March, probably April, nothing new here in Europe, update 2.7. When time comes, yes, I'll talk about Executioner, new class which is coming with update 2.7. And regarding Korea, yes, this new system is really interesting. Like I said, when I see something interesting, I will let you know about that. For now, there is really nothing special new happening with Ion Classic. Let's go forward with Arcage. From Kakao Games, in the previous week, you have get big information regarding what will happen with Arcage in 2024. I can show you here, Vision 2024, actually a roadmap divided into four different phases. Now, regarding Arcage, what to say? Come on, we are all waiting for Arcage 2. Does anybody even care about Arcage in 2024? Honestly, I do care a little bit because I used to play this game a lot. But that was a few years ago. We are now all waiting for Arcage 2. And we have get information from Kakao Games that in the second half of 2024, we'll get some concrete information regarding Arcage 2. Arcage 2 is a new upcoming PC MMORPG also developed for consoles. Unreal Engine 5 PC game. That'll be something really amazing. We are all waiting for this. And now regarding this roadmap, uh, to be honest here, I'm not bothered even to read to you this full roadmap. You can see here, Kakao Games, publisher of this game, and XL Games, developers of this game, they're still taking care about original version of Arcage. Let's call it like that. You can see here a uh, roadmap in four different phases. You can check this roadmap on official website of Arcage. But to be honest here, I don't even care that much to read here because like I said, full focus regarding Arcage is not anymore on Arcage or Arcage War or Archworld. Yes, now there are so many games from Arcage IP, right? We have Arcage, this one, then we have Arcage War or there in Korea released. Then there is Archworld, NFT MMORPG released over there in Korea and actually for North and South America also, Archworld. But nobody cares. We are only caring now about Arcage 2. When? End of 2024. End of 2024, beginning of start of 2025, we'll get something concrete from Kakao Games. It will happen. Nevertheless, there is time. For this evening, just to let you know, uh, this, uh, this is winter update. I've already reported about that in the past. But regarding this roadmap, if you're interested in Arcage, maybe to play casually for fun, uh, purely for fun, casually, until we are getting some other releases like Throne and Liberty later during 2024, maybe, maybe to check 
Black Arcage. But other than that, then I see something interesting is happening regarding Arcage and especially Arcage 2. I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. I used to play Arcage in the past after release of this game. It was amazing. Actually, it was an amazing experience. But nowadays in 2024, Arcage, uh, it's not viable anymore. It's not viable anymore. We are all waiting for new releases like Throne and Liberty, Bella Torres, Panks Day, The Queenfall. Yes, the Queenfall, Blue Protocol, and many other new upcoming PC MMORPGs, including Chrono Odyssey. Arcage 2, absolutely, it will be interesting to check, but like I said, end of 2024, beginning of 2025. For this evening, just to let you know, we have a Vision 2024, a roadmap for Arcage PC original version of the game. Let's say it on that way. It's actually not original version of the game. They had actually so many. It was Arcage Unchained and Arcage. Then they have merged recently Arcage Unchained and Arcage. So many changes during the years, right? So, but yeah, this is Arcage PC. Let's go forward with Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol is a new upcoming PC MMORPG which should be released globally also on consoles during 2024. This game was recently or not so recently, it was in June I think, yeah, released over there in Japan. I have tried to play it, interesting game, nothing too special but okay, decent, let's say it on that way. In the previous week, sadly there is nothing new regarding global version of the game. Again, we are waiting from Amazon games something, something, some kind of information what is happening with Blue Protocol. On one way, I'm not surprised that we are not getting any kind of news regarding Blue Protocol global version of the game because probably Amazon Games will first publish Throne and Liberty. And then after that, later during 2024, maybe in second half, Blue Protocol. Regarding version of the game over there in Japan, we have get in the previous week New Year greetings from developers of this game, Bandai Namco. And within these greetings, you can see here information. Yes, they have already start uh, service for cross-play gameplay of PlayStation 5, Xbox, and PC over there in Japan. That is interesting, and many players are playing it. That is very good. However, they are making many adjustments. I will not turn this into a reading session. I will not read to you this whole letter. However, they are correcting, they are adjusting many things in the game regarding user interface, new classes, additional content, initial uh, balance, they need to do that, renovating additional content. Yes, they have, they have so many things to adjust, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, like I said, I don't think that Blue Protocol is really a bad game. Nevertheless, I can play it over there in Japan and no, situation is not good. Situation is not good. The developers of the game, they need to adjust many things to make this game good and uh, good and playable, I would say, for global release. Yes, over there in Japan, uh, players have played the game, many players have played that game. Nevertheless, I don't think this game is still ready to be released. They need to adjust many things. Just to let you know for this evening that Bandai Namco, developers of this game, they are working on the game. And probably in the second half of 2024, we will get a global release of Blue Protocol. Probably, I say probably, we never know for sure, right? Amazon Games will first release Throne and Liberty. That would be logical at least, right? For this evening, just to let you know, yeah, newer greetings is here regarding global version of the game still nothing from amazon games and now let's talk on the end of this video about lost ark let's check what is happening regarding global version of the game for me at least it's always interesting to check what is happening with lost ark now on the start of 2024 especially because i used to play this game a lot i have played this game well basically since release over there in korea and yes i can play it after global release so let's check what we have here January update announcement from January 10, we have a new update, Belshazzar Legion Raid Inferno difficulty, pretty nice. Regarding number of players, I mean this is nothing too huge, we have seen already information in the future we'll get during 2024, new class breaker, that will be interesting to play, right, that is interesting. Uh, I have already report about that roadmap for 2024, first half of 2024 on my YouTube channel, but you can see here, Lost Ark, currently 24 hour peak, 41.1 thousand players, well it's better than New World. Let's say it on the right way. I mean, New World is currently on 25k. 25,000 players, 24 hour peak. That is very bad. That is very bad number. Don't even think for one second that is a good number. However, you can see here Lost Ark is doing a little bit better, I guess. Because yes, there are still some bots in the game. Nevertheless, 41,000 players. 
it's looking pretty decent on start of 2024. What will happen later during 2024, that remains to be seen because, like I said, both of these games published by Amazon Games, right? They're trying to advertise on both of these games, right? They're still doing, they're still working many things, right? They're updating New World and Lost Ark. But let's be realistic here. These games, we can play them. We can play them both. I can enjoy really a lot, honestly, here in Lost Ark. I didn't enjoy in New World, not at all. Nevertheless, okay, some people like to play New World. It's fine. Both of these games are old games. We need to look into the future not in the past. These games, their life cycle, it's not over. I will not say it's over. Nevertheless, their life cycle, the cycle of this game is coming to the end. We need to look into the future. And this is future. Throne and Liberty, absolutely amazing game. And yeah, still no information regarding global release. When I see anything new is happening regarding Throne and Liberty and other new upcoming PC MMORPGs, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel for this evening. Now you are fully updated what is happening in MMORPG gaming world. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG videos in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.